Hello everyone, today I'm here with my colleagues to present our chosen company Nike. We choose for the specific uh, product Nike Air Force One. Well, we are going to tell you something more about the history of Nike, to tell you the products they use for making Nike Air Force One, something more about the prospecting. Jordi is going to tell you something more about the, how they prepared their negotiation. Uh, we are going to uh, tell you why they choose their suppliers and uh, uh, how they choose them. Uh, Sibella is going to tell you something more about the purchasing decision. We are going to give a little feedback and the conclusion is given by Flutra. Thank you. Let me tell the history about Nike. Nike is the US based company of sports and fitness that is the largest sub uh, suppliers of athletic footwear in the world. Uh, the company was founded on January 25th, 1964 as Blue Ribbon Sports by Bowerman and Phil Knight. It officially became Nike on 30th of May in 1971. Nike became an international uh, company when it opened uh, the first office in Taiwan in 1975. It its products across different categories, footwear, approval, equipment and other. Now I'm going to give my words to my friend Hind. It depends completely on external sources for raw materials and manufacturing. Almost all the products purchased are manufactured by independent factories. The raw materials used for Air Force One are uh, synthetic leather for the upper side of the shoe. Uh, the sole is made of Ava foam. Cushions uh, in the cuff lining are used for a comfortable fit and non emetic synthetic rubber is, your, is used for the outside of the sole. Prospecting. Nike seeks partners who show leadership, incorporate responsibility and who seek to move beyond minimum standards. An example of respect is no discrimination. For fear, their, uh, their working hours are not uh, excessive. They always try to keep their uh, workplaces as safe as possible. And an example of sustainable is air emissions are always minimized. So I want to tell you some more about uh, how Nike is preparing their negotiations. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the purchasing motives, the motives and objectives of the suppliers and the DMU. So for the purchasing motives, Nike uses a lot of environmentally friendly used materials like the Eva foam and the non emetic uh, synthetic rubber are uh, very environmentally friendly materials. Also the functionality is very important to Nike as well because they choose uh, synthetic leather instead of usual leather because it's more wearable. Uh, this has a lot of comfort and it's easier to clean. Now for the motives and objectives of the suppliers, Nike wants a lot of trust and mutual respect from their suppliers. Uh, also the long-term relationships are very important to Nike as well because more than 70% of the suppliers of Nike has worked with them over 15 years. So for the DMU at Nike, DMU stands for Decision Making Unit. Uh, there is one team uh, that is going to make all the decisions at night, especially for the shoes and uh, they are all based on consumer needs uh, so they are going to inform them well what the people want from the shoe and what they expect from it and that's the only reason why Nike can put the newest shoes on the line with a lot of success. So when Nike is looking for the right supplier for the product which is Air Force One the first thing they have to do is acknowledge the fact that they need a supplier for the product afterwards they, they determine the criteria that they need in a supplier, which are cost, quality, etc. Um, afterwards, they identify different potential suppliers. Afterwards, they shortlist the suppliers so that that will um, make the task easier for them, which is choosing the right supplier for the product. Afterwards, they evaluate and select the right supplier and then sign the contract. The design of goods and services is our major focus. As a procurement officer, we do a lot of research to find the perfect materials to create the Nike Air Force. And by choosing those right materials, we want to satisfy the customer expectation and keep the quality high so it can be worn for a long time. Our strategy also helps the brand reduce its carbon footprint. And in the case of the Air Force One, the raw materials that we use, the best for the design and the strength of the shoes were leather from the, for the upper side. EVA foam for the sole and synthetic rubber and cushions. So I will talk about the feedback and the evolution of Nike and evaluation, sorry, 
of Nike and their product, um, Nike Air Force One. Um, so to achieve the satisfaction of Nike and their consumers, suppliers need to suffocate a couple of criteria. Uh, Nike has a couple of decisions uh, area on how they want their products and how they evaluate them. Uh, first, you have the design of goods and services. They take care of um, the design of uh, athletic footwear and other products. Um, then you have the quality management. Um, they take care of the, they make sure that the quality stays good and high. Um, after that, you got the supply chain management. Uh, Nike has a magnificent um, supply chain management that um, aligns the company overall uh, strategic aims. Um, I also think that maintenance is also one of the most important parts of um, this decision area. Um, because it consists of the human resources and also other stuff. Um, Nike is very strict with their products and also sets high expectations with their suppliers um, so everything can go well in the course of B2B. This presentation about the purchase, purchasing process of Nike, the international market leader in sports products. Our raw materials such as foam and rubber are being purchased from external sources. Also, manufacturing takes place in external factories. The Nike Code of Conduct guarantees welfare and well-being of workers and also responsible and efficient use of resources. More often, environment-friendly material is being used. Motives for supplier choices are of long-term relationships with mutual respect and commitment on sustainability. The sustainability approach belongs to this time, in which people are more environmentally conscious. Fulfilling the wishes of cons customers while respecting their values is the challenge Nike is facing. Nike already succeeded in answering to people who want to live a healthier lifestyle. Nike is able to handle this challenge as well. Thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoyed our video.